It's benchmark week here on Explaining Android, and I have the Red Magic 10 Pro from Nubia. This is the most affordable smartphone with the Snapdragon 8 Elite chipset that I've been able to find so far, and I'm curious how the device stacks up to the competition. Yesterday, I put the phone through PCMark's Work 3.0 benchmark, and today we're going to switch it up a little bit. I have the Geekbench 6 benchmark app installed, and I was curious how well it did with this CPU and GPU tests. Just like yesterday, we're going to let this benchmark run and then take a look at the score. The CPU benchmark tests with Geekbench 6 on the Red Magic 10 Pro has resulted in a single core score of 3,180 and then a multi core score of 9,852. We can scroll down through the result tab and get a look at the individual test scores. 
or single core score, our integer score, floating point score, and all of the other tests that you saw it run through. This is a great way to compare your device with the latest chipset on the market. So on the multi-core tests, we got an overall score of 9,852, an integer score of 9,420, a floating point score of 10,706, and these are all of the other test results. Now, there are actually two GPU tests that we can do. So let's first benchmark the OpenCL API. And just like before, we're just gonna let this run through. OpenCL benchmark test, we achieved a score of 19,337. And just like before, we can scroll through that list to get the individual scores of all the tests that it ran. As previously mentioned, there are two GPU tests that we can do. It defaults to OpenCL, but we can change this over to Vulkan and then run that test.
know we can see when testing Vulcan, we get a little higher score of 24,121. And again, we can scroll through this list to get to the individual scores right here. Just like yesterday, it's clear that the Snapdragon 8 Elite chip is a beast. According to these benchmark tests, the Red Magic 10 Pro easily punches above the competition. And this is even more true when you consider how much Nubia is charging for the phone. Granted, there are a few downsides to go along with this device, including the locked bootloader and a few corners that Nubia had to cut. But if you're on a budget, then this is the phone to purchase in 2025. I would argue that it's even a good device if you're not a gamer. With that said, I do look forward to testing out the Red Magic 10 Pro by emulating some PC games over the next few months. So let me know what you'd like to see here on the channel. I often see Grand Theft Auto 5 brought up a lot, so that may be first on the docket. If you could, please click that like button as it really helps to motivate me to create more content and then subscribe to the channel for more Android content like this.